Welcome to Meet the Expert. I'm Barry Schmel with the Google Cloud Learning Services team, and I'll be your host for this special webinar series designed to help you make the most of Google Meet to work remotely with your teams and your customers. This third webinar session is for everyone who wants to learn how Google Meet is being used in the healthcare industry. We'll find out how our Google partner, Cloud Bakers, helped Aspire Indiana Health go from seven to 700 virtual medical appointments a day. Wow, that's a day using Google Meet. We'll walk through the setup process, which uses Google Calendar and Google Meet, and explain how they maintain HIPAA compliance. Our agenda today and our format will be a little different. I'll be interviewing two colleagues from Cloud Bakers who'll tell us about the healthcare customer Aspire Indiana Health, They'll walk us through the process of using Google Meet for Medicine and the positive impact it's had on Aspire Indiana Health's business while maintaining HIPAA compliance, and how to get started transforming your business using Google Meet. So why don't we get started by introducing the uh, Cloud Bakers team. Let's see if I can find them. There they are. Hi, Ashley, and hi, Andrew. So Cloud Bakers has been a Google Cloud Premier partner for almost a decade. They help make cloud transition seamless for their clients and put an emphasis on change management and adoption. Those are some of those key, key, key you know, benefits of using G Suite. Uh, we're lucky to have two uh, bakers with us today, Ashley, who's Senior Director of Marketing. She works closely with the Google Cloud team to bring customer stories like the one we're about to share to life, and Andrew, who's VP of Strategic Alliance, and he brings Google solutions to Baker's customers. So Cloud Bakers has worked to support Google Cloud customers in the health, healthcare space. A particular story that stood out to me was Aspire Indiana Health's use of Google Meet to serve their patients' telehealth solutions. Aspire Indiana Health deployed G Suite five plus years ago, and we're well adopted prior to transitioning to the current work remote work situation that we're all in right now. Google Meet was quickly relied upon as the internal communication standard for face-to-face -face meetings. So Ashley, why don't you tell us a bit more about this? For sure, so just a little bit of background um, on Aspire to start out with. So Aspire Indiana is a fully integrated health system, both a community mental health center and a federally qualified health center. And Cloud Baker's relationship started with them in 2015. Just before that, Aspire had experienced theft of unencrypted laptops leading to a potential breach. To bring the IT department from a pedestrian level to a professional one, a new CTO was brought in, David Spiker. He was the main Google Cloud advocate who began working with Cloud Bakers. To align Aspire's BHAGs, which is a term they use for their big, hairy, audacious goals. I love that. It sounds very google <laughs> Yes, it's awesome. Um, you, you can find them on their website, by the way. Um, the com one of those goals was that the company set out on a mission to transform to 100% cloud. So this transformation not only increased security and collaboration for them, but also allowed a way for patients to meet with their providers from home, specifically using Google Meet. Um, I'll, another aspect um, that Google Meet worked really well for them in is the closed captioning that automatically you can find in Google Meet um, with, a lar with Aspire's large deaf community. That was another helpful aspect of the tool. Well, that's really interesting of how they're using um, the captions with their, with their customers, especially the deaf community. So why don't you tell us how COVID has had an impact on this and their business? Yeah, so as we all know, overnight our world changed and people needed to stay at home. As Aspire Indiana Health worked to transform their own business, they also needed to serve the community they were, um, where they were, whether that was at their kitchen counters, whether that was on their couches. Right. Um, so Aspire Indiana began using Google Meet for video conferencing between their providers and their patients. So some of these um, results that they've seen, they've increased their video calls with patients. Um, Barry mentioned this earlier, but they used to have seven video calls per day with patients, and now they're having 700 per day. That's, that's a massive that's increase. Not, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and alongside that, as you can see here, um, they have seen a decrease in the cancellations that patients are making or just no shows. That's, you um, know, that's actually a very interesting stat, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess because they don't have to worry about 
you know, driving or get, getting somewhere, they can really schedule it at their convenience. Exactly. And it's easy to access. Everything about it has made um, a really seamless, seamless meeting. Um, so aside from that, they Aspire Indiana was able to keep 100% of their staff um, and are continuing discussions around this previous need for additional office space. Um, with this new reality and seeing the results that are actually possible, it, it does beg the question whether or not millions of dollars need to be spent um, for more physical locations that they thought they needed once before. Well, wow, that's that's a serious, tremendous impact and value to their business. I mean, not just that increase in the number of their calls, but the fact that they may no longer need to build out to another location, and that's a significant savings to them as well. So um, maybe we can move on and talk a little bit more about how this works, Ashley. Definitely. Um, and I think you'll be um, really impressed with how simple this can actually be. Um, with today's immediate need for remote communication, a lot of organizations don't necessarily have a budget set aside for this state-of-the-art, um, you know, telehealth tool with all the bells and whistles that are that can be found out there. Um, this really pushes organizations to start simple, and simple doesn't have to mean less powerful. Um, so let's jump into this process specifically using G Suite. Great. Um, so most healthcare organizations already have an EMR, electronic medical record, in place that schedules appointments. We have a diagram you can see here that shows this complete process. So once the patient schedules that appointment through the EMR, a coordinator creates a Google Calendar invite for the doctor. This invite automatically creates a unique meet URL that is then emailed to the patient. Aspire goes a step further here and also sends this reminder and link via SMS. When it comes time for the appointment itself, the doctor can easily access the link through his Google, his or her Google Calendar while the patient simply clicks their special link from the reminder. Wow, that's, that's really amazing. This is really great stuff. And a very simple process, as you said, they're just using really Google, cool. Google Calendar, Google Meet, you know, whatever mail system the customer is. That, that's pretty, pretty cool. So um, why don't I, I'm going to tag this over to, to Andrew because I think you're going to give us a, a demo on how this works. So why don't I just move over to our demo window? Great. Now we can see your calendar. Great. Hey, Barry. And I'm happy to show you how this uh, can work within Google Meet and Google Calendar. And I'll be showing um, two roles today. So first, I'm going to be the patient coordinator and show how a someone who works with uh, providers or physicians uh, can schedule meetings with patients on behalf of those doctors or, or the providers, or the providers could schedule these meetings directly themselves. Then I'll also show what it looks like from the end user's perspective. So say I'm the, the recipient of, yeah, the patient, exactly. Great. So say I'm the recipient of a telehealth call. We'll see what that looks like as well. Awesome. Love it. So what I have set up in Google Calendar right now is I'm showing three different calendars for Dr. Schuyler, Dr. Cloud, and Dr. For You. So they all have a variety of patient meetings scheduled throughout the week. What's fantastic is each one of these meetings has a unique Google Meet link. So I clicked on uh, Dr. Schuyler's meeting for tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And you can see here that this is the link. And when I say link, I mean a web URL. This is a URL that can be plugged into any of the modern browsers. And the doctor will be able, or the uh, provider will be able to join securely as they authenticate via Google. And the uh, patient will be asked to, will be prompted to ask to join the meeting. So what it looks like to actually schedule one of these, say I need to create another appointment for tomorrow at 11 o'clock, I'll simply drag and drop from 11 to noon. And I'll be prompted to create a meeting. So I'll say patient meeting. This is for Dr. Schuyler right here. I can see whose calendar I'm putting the event on. I could also switch uh, between doctors if I needed to. Wow, how cool. When I click add Google Meet video conferencing, it will auto populate that video URL and it will also populate dial-in numbers. So if someone just wants to call in and doesn't want to access via their computer, they can do that as well. 
Nice. So there's two options for how patients could be invited to these meetings. Uh, one, this information could be copy and pasted out and sent to the patient via any secure channel, whether that be email, um, messaging, you know, through an, an EMR portal. However, that uh, the provider usually sends their messaging that could go through that route. Alternatively, so it's very flexible then, depending on how the customer works. Exactly. Love that. Alter and alternatively, if they have um, the patient's contact info, so we'll put uh, Bob McGee from Chicago in here. We know his email address for this patient meeting that he has, so we can go ahead and save this. And Bob will receive an email with instructions to access that Google Meet link. So as the patient coordinator, you know, I can manage multiple calendars. I can see all the different links, copy and paste them and schedule directly with the patients. So now I'll show what it would look like to be uh, Bob from Chicago as he's looking to attend a telehealth appointment. So as soon as that calendar invite is sent, you know, Bob will be receive an email. So this is coming from uh, Google Calendar, is that correct? Yes. And uh -huh. let me uh, preface, I switched over to another Chrome profile. So this okay. is logged in with uh, Bob from Chicago's Gmail account. So he's able to log in and receive that email. Mm -hmm. So when he does, yeah, you can reply. But most importantly, you can click on the Google Meet link here. So when he does that, he will be launched to that Google Meet URL and prompted to join the meeting. He'll have the option to turn on his camera, turn off the microphone, and most importantly, ask to join. Because uh, Bob has a Gmail account, Google knows that it's Bob. So they will share Bob's name to the provider uh, through the ask to join functionality. If someone does not have a Google account, they can still join Google Meet and they'll be prompted to type in their name so that the provider is alerted. Great. So now Bob's in the waiting room. And if I am the going back to uh, the patient coordinator or the provider, I can go to that Google Meet link, same link that Bob is at right now. Just need to remember which um, <laughs> time I did that for. I think, yeah. That's because you're a busy yeah, company. You're doing 700 of these a day. <laughs> so that was Friday at 11 o'clock. There we okay. go. There we go. Live demos. So are I got Friday at 11 o'clock. Uh, so now as the provider, I can click join with Google Meet and it will launch Google Meet, same URL. As I'm authenticating with Google, it knows my identity and therefore I'm able to securely access the Google Meet. And as soon as I do, I'll be prompted that someone is asking to join the Google meeting. So at that point, I'll be able to choose whether or not to admit uh, Bob to the meeting. And we're about to see what that looks like. This is very cool. And I love that we're just using standard Google Calendar and Meet. We're not doing any fancy integrations here either. There we go. We see that. Now you have the option as the doctor to admit this patient or not. So it's also very and When secure. I click admit, <clears throat> and I'm officially running three Google Meets on my calendar, <laughs> right. on my computer. <laughs> well, that's, so that is you know, the live walkthrough of yeah, how to join. Okay, great job, really, really great. So it really looks like the customer can implement this now without any types of integrations, right? Yes, uh, spot on. So this is a quote, you know, out of the box solution with G Suite. <clears throat> and what's fantastic about G Suite is it was architected from the ground up uh, with HIPAA compliance in mind. So Google yeah. has a very, yeah, as this share Barry, Google's got a very detailed uh, HIPAA implementation great. guide. I would recommend anyone in the healthcare industry review this implementation guide. It will walk you through the uh, settings and features that you should 
choose within the admin council. And one important thing to note within the admin council, which I'll click over to right now, if you visit the admin council as a super administrator, and if you're not, you could work with uh, that person at your company. Go to the admin council, choose company profile, scroll down to legal and compliance. And here you will see at the very bottom, uh, the G Suite HIPAA Business Associate Amendment. And this is something you just need to agree to one time and your organization has that agreement with Google. Wow, so that looks like it's, it's pretty simple to implement there. Thank you so much, Ashley. So um, I'm gonna tag it over back to Ashley. I mean, to, excuse me, you did a great job, Andrew. Ashley, so how can people today, how can they get started on this now? Yeah, you know, as Andrew just said, everything you need to get started today um, does come with G Suite. We, we just saw how Aspire Indiana used Google Calendar combined with Google Meet to adapt their business to today's circumstances, and that was without any integration. As a Google Cloud partner, the Cloud Bakers team helps customers find the right solutions like G Suite um, for their business needs and can also provide that additional integration if and when that's needed in the future. If this becomes um, you know, something you do want permanently and we, you know, we can't go out into the world like the old normal, um, these are the solutions that'll come save the day. Well, this is really cool stuff. And um, just for everyone in our audience today, Andrew has also written a blog on how to telehealth using Google Cloud. We'll share that link with everyone later. And this has been such an inspiring story, real world example of business transformation using uh, Google Meet um, and for medicine. So thank you very much for being here. A big shout out to our Cloud Bakers team, Ashley and Andrew. And of course, to our customer, Aspire Health Indi uh, Indiana, for inspiring us on how to use Google Meet for Medicine. And thank you to everyone who's been watching. And remember to join Meet the Expert website to get the full schedule and be informed of any upcoming webinars. So everyone, please stay healthy and stay safe. And thank you again. Thank you.